Mom. Mom, I'm... Mom, I'm going... Mom, I'm going to... Mom, I'm going to the... Mom, I'm going to the post office and all the windows if you need anything there because you don't have to go before it closes. You've been drinking too much coffee. <laughs> I'm going to the post office. Do you need anything? From the post office? Yes. <laughs> We're all out of wanted posters. <laughs> yeah, what did you do to yourself? I just sprained my ankle at rehearsal, that's all. Rehearsal for what? What, rehearse of my club's charity tea dance extravaganza? I am the lady from Spain. And these are my tango instructors. <laughs> Carlos and Charlotte. <laughs> now, this is my great-grandson, Nikki. And this is my granddaughter, Molly. And... <laughs> Lucky there's not three of you. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Ellen. You're a dear. Well, I have to Luego, too. Post office is going to be closed. Well, don't forget this. Oh, what are you sending to the New Yorker? Uh, it's just something I whipped up. Well, I, I wrote a short story. I didn't know you were writing. You didn't tell me you were writing. She didn't tell me she was writing. Isn't that funny? I get that impression. <laughs> well, my mother's a dancer. My daughter's a writer. Doesn't anybody tell me anything around here? What made you start writing? Well, it just came to me in a flash. My head was filled with ideas. And I just had to get them down on paper. And let's face it, I need a job. A job? Well, honey, writing's hardly a job. You see what I go through every day. Yeah, I do see what you go through. You make your own hours. You don't have to be anywhere for anyone. You can wear whatever you want, and you don't have to talk to people. You mean you want to be a writer because you think it's convenient? And I talk to people. Don't I talk to people? I talk to people. <laughs> I got that impression. <laughs> no, I wrote the story because I think I have something to say. Well, good. What's it called? It's called Some Trouble Getting There. Some Trouble Getting There. I like that. Hello, Nana. Oh, Nikki, thank you so much. Oh, that feels so good. Could I have one more pillow? Sure, Nana. And remember, Nick. I know the down, not the fold. Ooh, I can tell. <laughs> Honey, don't you want me to look at that story? And before you send it in, I mean, give you my thoughts on it? Uh, uh I don't know. Mom, I, I appreciate the offer, but, uh, you know, it's my first story and all. And, well, you know, if it does get published, I just want to be able to say that it's, it's all mine. You understand, don't you? Absolutely. Bye, Mom. Now, Nick, you know how generous Nana is with her time when you're sick, and now that she's not feeling well, we just all have to be very understanding and patient. He's only a kid! Would you stop ringing that damn bell for one last minute? <laughs> Mom, you nervous about something? Uh, no, no, honey, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm, I'm, I'm a wreck, but I'm fine. <laughs> Afraid the grandma's not going to like the story? Mm, terrified. She'll like it. Mom's always like things that their kids do. She'll say, oh, honey, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's what grandma will say. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. Yeah, well, we'll see. You said that about the picture of you that I did in kindergarten, and you look like a bird. Well... Yeah, but, I mean, you did that picture just for me to have, and I made this story for everybody to have. You want to write books like Grandma? No, no, I... No, I... Well, sort of. Yes. No, uh... See, I want 
grandma to see me as a real rider, and you see me as a bird. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just not very good at drawing. I think you're beautiful. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. See what I mean? <laughs> I did have a few problems with the story. Oh, problems can be fixed. Let's hear them. <laughs> I found the style just a trace self-conscious. Ooh, good note. <laughs> I'll work on that. And don't you think the heroine was just somewhat unsympathetic? Yeah, could be, could be. Uh-huh, anything else? For me, the story didn't really go anywhere. Ah, yeah. Oh, but didn't you like the way it just ended? Oh, that I loved. <laughs> yeah. And anything else? That I loved? Uh-huh. Uh, the typing was excellent. Uh, thank you. I, um, uh, I had someone else do it, but... <laughs> you couldn't tell, really. <laughs> so, you think it stinks. Oh, honey, I wouldn't say stinks. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> it stinks. <laughs> That's funny because um, I, I still think it's good. <laughs> well, maybe it is. Yeah, you know, because I was thinking that maybe there's a chance that, you know, you can't really be objective. Oh, yeah, maybe, that maybe I can. <laughs> so, uh, gosh, maybe I should get another opinion. Well, maybe you should. Maybe I should give it to your class. Uh, maybe you shouldn't. Why not? Well, they're piranhas with book bags. <laughs> I mean, they don't really understand sensitive criticism. Uh, like you do. <laughs> Give it to them. No. If you don't, I will. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. The Hindenburg of short stories. Boring, with three R's. <laughs> Madre de Dios que malo. No sense in trying to protect her identity. Who's the one who puts the little happy faces over the eyes? <laughs> Come on, Molly, don't try and guess their identity. It well, was unanimous. I guess you were right, Mom. They hated it, you hated it. Well, I think hated is too strong a word for what I felt. Uh, despised? Mom, it was a first effort. No, 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 it was a last effort. It was stupid of me to think I could even be a writer. Ooh, one round of criticism and you're ready to pack it in. You expect me to keep writing with comments like this? Stereotypical characters, cliched story, hackneyed dialogue. I especially dislike the character of Lieutenant Crookshank. He... Lieutenant Crookshank? There's no Lieutenant Crookshank in my story. Wait a minute, these comments aren't about my story. Exactly. I didn't give them your story. I gave them the first thing I ever wrote. Bread on the waters? Jeez, even the title stinks. We can give me that. Let me see that. No, no. <laughs> Just leave it alone. I've had enough pain from this story. And that person who puts a little smiling faces over her eyes is a dead woman. <laughs> Why didn't you give the class my story? Well, honey, because I wanted you to understand that in order to be a writer, I mean, it takes a lot of real effort and a lot of criticism. You don't just type up a story and send it off to the New Yorker. Well, do you still want me to give your story to my piranhas? Oh, definitely. Uh, first, there's just a couple of minor revisions I want to make with a match. <laughs> Buena tarde. We have come for the Lady of Spain. Her public awaits her. Buena. 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 Buena.
Buenos, muchachos. <laughs> Good luck, Nana. Break a leg. Break a leg? Oh, no. Now, what do you think, Mom? If I go through enough pain, suffering, and criticism, I could end up being you. Oh, honey, I've already been me. <laughs> what you want to be is what nobody else in the world can possibly ever be, and that's you. See, I was lucky. I could only do one thing, write. I never wanted to be anything at all except a writer. Well, with the possible exception of the lady in Spain. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>